In 2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky-high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. I'm not a psychopath, I just have to know, man. Now this city is trash. To say CD Projekt Red dropped the ball here would be an understatement. This is why I don't get hyped for games like this. I really do feel bad for the people who've waited almost nine years for this game and this is what they got <laughs> i've seen a lot of backlash for how unfinished this game is the unlimited game breaking bugs save files getting corrupted visual and audio glitches you name it the game is it up. Before fanboys start getting ass mad, let's start with what I like about the game in the almost 13 hours that I've played it so far. The detail, graphics, when they aren't a cluster f mushy mess, explorability, side quests, and obviously the main quests. Everything in the game that I've experienced is a lot of fun. I haven't played a game in years where I genuinely enjoyed doing the side quests. The amount of content in this game is remarkable. Now obviously I haven't played for 70 plus hours yet, but even getting this far into the the game without a moment of feeling bored, uninterested, or not immersed into the story is huge to me. Assassin's Creed games are a perfect example of attempting to make the game longer than it actually is. 30 plus hours worth of content, but only about 8 hours of it is actually fun. I'm enjoying the story, I feel invested in it. When shit gets intense, I'm truly immersed in the moment. I haven't connected with a single player game like that in probably a decade. God, I'm fucking old. For real though, whenever there isn't a car flying 500 feet into the air for next to no fucking reason, or a lady getting a soda out of the passenger side door breaking my immersion, I'm having a blast. Now let's get to the not so good. Oh god, what the fuck? <laughs> the problems. Ultimate from my experience, as previously stated, the game itself is fun. I've been enjoying the gameplay when it's not glitching beyond the third dimension. There are so f***ing many game-breaking bugs, scripted content not proceeding, ceasing your ability to progress in whatever mission you were trying to complete, a potentially unfixable bug that will eventually corrupt your save file. Since it's a memory issue with the save file itself, backing up your save won't do jack shit since once it reaches a certain file capacity, 10 megabytes for example, it will corrupt that save file. I was fucking blown away when I read that that was actually real. Developers even responded saying they may not even be able to fix this fucking bug. Unfortunately, this is one reason why I stopped playing the game. I don't want to sink 50 to 70 hours in a single player game just for my progress to randomly be lost forever one day. There's even core functionality that has constant issues like guns not appearing when you need them to, dying to random shit. Oh, and let's not forget getting stuck under the fucking world forever. Why even have an out of bounds auto reload if you clip under the world if it just spawns you in the same spot under the fucking world? There are hundreds of visual and audio glitches, typically just funny or annoying immersion breaking shit. It really sets the mood when you're deep invested in the story and some stupid shit glitches reminding you that you waited nine whole ass years for this game to come out. This is an obvious one. The game is unstable. Game crashing at random times, losing progress upon crashing, there's even been reports of games not even saving, even when manually prompting to save. So what do I think about this game at the end of the day? In short, I think this game was a massive disappointment. I truly do feel bad for the people who were genuinely excited for this game from the start. You wait waited nearly nine years, and you're gonna have to wait even longer to actually have a functional playing experience. You have to wait even longer to have the game you've always wanted. A game that actually feels like it's 
fucking complete. There are so many other bugs and glitches I haven't covered. Honestly, I don't think there's a need to. You get the point. I'd like to give some advice to CD Projekt Red and to the people who are genuinely disappointed at the launch of this game. Don't overhype yourself. That goes to the marketing team spending millions of dollars promoting and hyping the fuck out of this game. All you're gonna do is overly disappoint and eventually those who waited patiently for years will feel betrayed. And to those who feed off of hype like this for years, in this case almost a decade, just don't. You're literally overhyping shit to just eventually disappoint yourself. Hype is fine. It's a great tool in marketing when done right. Overhyping causes unimaginable heights and goals that cannot be reached. So once again, Cyberpunk 2077 to me is a fun game. I really fuck with it. And to me, I wasn't distraught with disappointment. I barely even followed what was going on with the game until it was finally launched for public consumption. Still is a buggy ass fucking game. What the fuck is this shit? This is like if EA and Ubisoft had a deformed ass failed abortion. <laughs>